Ryan, it's been a while since we've uh, had a chance to see you. Give us an idea of what you've been up to since uh, since last summer. I've been just doing a lot of uh, self-loathing. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just hanging out. I've you know I got kids and I have family and I uh, you know spending some time with my family. I you know I wanted to miss fighting a little bit. I sometimes you know it's a high and low sport. Obviously, as you can see, I uh, been training my butt off, ready to kick some butt this time though. So it was kind of a personal thing. You kind of withdrew a little bit and, and didn't want to fight. Well, you know, the last training camp was you know I put a lot of pressure on myself. I you know I got T-shirts made up for the fight. I had a hundred you know hundreds of people, thousands of people there, friends. I was slept in my house the night before the fight, and I just I put too much on myself. And I think I uh, you know I I kind of looked past the fight. I just wanted the fight to be over instead of being excited to fight. I was like looking for, more excited for the fight to be over. And I said to, to myself, even going into the fight, that I don't want to have that feeling again. So I want to take some time, spend some time with my kids. I got young kids, and um, and I want, you know, I'm like, all right, I took like three months completely off, and then I just wanted to miss fighting and miss like, you know, hurting people, you know, as uh, as a bit weird as that sounds, but uh, and I do. And I had a great camp. I enjoyed every sparring session. I enjoyed every, every you know, I wanted to learn again, you know. Whereas I was just maintaining in the past, and now I'm, you know, I'm picking up new tricks, and you're gonna see a brand new Ryan LaFlair. It's interesting because I feel like throughout your career, I mean, you're such a talented guy, but like you struggled to get momentum going, right? Yeah, it is exactly, exactly. But so you're almost saying that that's like maybe that's even better. Like you don't want to stay busy all the time. Like you want to have like the times away. Um, no, I, I think you know everyone's different. I think at some points in your career, I'm getting older now. Even though I only have 15 fights, I get hurt a lot, so I'm getting older now, and it kind of. You know, you don't want to. You don't want to look at this as a job and just like a way to make money. You have to be passionate about it. You know, it's a fight. It's a real thing. It's you know, it's a real fight. It's not you know WWE. And if you're in it for the wrong reasons, the wrong things could happen. And that's regardless of the outcome of my last fight. That's the way I felt. Uh, I even said to myself, I said, man, I'm just like getting a little burnt out. Uh, and I coach too. I have a lot of guys that I coach under. I have my own gym, and um, you know, it, it consumes my life sometimes. And uh, you know, I want, like I said, I wanted to miss it. I wanted to want to get better. You know, like I think I hit, I reached a certain spot, and it was kind of like, okay, I'm fighting these guys. You know, this, the same guys. I'm not fighting the top ten guys. I'm fighting other hungry guys. I need to be hungrier than them, and I need to, you know, learn how to get better and start, you know, get back to the top. So the hunger's back, but then you talk about 100%. kind of distractions and stuff. And now you're fighting in your backyard again. To a no, degree. this isn't my backyard. You know, and anytime I have to go, I, I trust me. This, it, 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 I had to travel here. I got here on Tuesday. I stayed here. That was enough to clear my mind to focus on. I just have my coaches that I've been with since 2007, and I have them with me, and I'm, I'm comfortable with them. They know how how I work, and. Uh, and I just got to focus on me, which I think is important. Whereas I had, you know, two other teammates that I also coached them too, on the last card, which I think I put a little too much pressure on myself. And lastly, for me, talk about the matchup itself. I mean, uh, Alex is a, a dangerous guy. I mean, you know, maybe maybe cardio an issue at times, but certainly dangerous when he's when he's in top form. What do you think about the matchup? Yeah, of course, everyone's dangerous. You know, it's, we're professional fighters. We're like, you know, we're trained killers, and uh, I'm dangerous too. You know, of course, I just got to keep my hands up. I can't be rushing in. Um, I think that uh, I think most importantly for this fight, as long as I'm comfortable, I'm confident in myself, and I'm and I'm patient, I can't see it going wrong. You know, I you know obviously it's a fight, but I've trained properly for this fight. I'm motivated. I'm can't. I'm really looking forward to getting out there and kicking some butt. All right, now uh, you know it, it's been brought up before the uh, the finishing rate. You had a perfect finishing rate outside the UFC, and uh, you, you come in here, you're still looking for it. I'm a hockey guy originally. Right. Uh, we always say if a guy's in a slump, you're squeezing the stick too tight. Is it a mental thing? Are you trying too hard? Are you worried about it? Or does it right. nag at you at all? Uh, yeah, it definitely nags at me, 100%. Um, you know, I remember my first two fights being like, what the hell? Like, I, I'm not finishing in the UFC. And then I, like people started calling me the decisionator. And, and I think after that, it kind of like felt okay to – Okay, just do you know? Just win these rounds, which I don't think is a good thing. I'm looking for finishes. If you watch my fights, I'm an exciting fighter. I'm not just a patient fighter, just looking to get the win. I'm I'm I, I'm out there trying to fight. I'm out there trying to trying to win decisively. I'm trying to finish the guys. It's just you know, I'm also fighting. Out. I, I think 90% of the guys I fought in the UFC were either ranked or have been ranked in the past. I'm not fighting scrubs. I'm fighting guys, you know, coming into the UFC. I'm fighting guys who weren't up my level. Now I'm fighting. Everybody I'm fighting at least was ranked at one point in their career. I mean, there's not many guys that can say that their entire UFC career. I'm coming up on nine to ten fights and fighting good guys. I, I want to finish them. I'm going to try to finish them, but um, 
you know, me not getting caught and not making bad mistakes is more important right now. Coming as a guy who like was working for CompuStrike to right. where you are now, and even having main evented with Demi and Maya, do you ever look back at it and go, "Wow, this is absolutely crazy how far I've come in such a short time"? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it, you know, it seems like a short time because I only have like, nine or ten fights. I've been in the UFC since 2013. I started doing CompuStrike. I was strike. I was still a pro fighter. I was, you know, I was like one and oh, two and oh. But I did that. I started doing that in maybe 2007. You know, I've, just, I've been around this sport for a very long time. Um, yeah, it is a little surreal to me, but I, you know, my goals were always to be at the top. I always knew I'd be there. Just I'm that type of person. If I'm not succeeding in something, I'm not doing it anymore. So I have to keep doing it until I'm, the, you know, at the top. And you're always going to see Ryan the Flair until I'm at the top. Uh, Alex obviously comes from a good camp. Uh, he's been working with TriStar up in Canada. Um, yeah, if you had to give what, one, what star? Who, I don't, I don't. <laughs> uh, we might hold him a little more near and dear, but um, if you had to give a prediction for this one, how does it go down? Nah, I'm just kidding. Trust us, uh, you know, obviously <laughs> a big, a big uh, camp, but uh, how's it go down? I think I think I'm I'm a more of an elite striker. I'm an elite grappler. Um, I'm faster. I'm bigger. I'm longer. I think there's a lot of things that could play out to me being. The, the better fighter here. I'm, my conditioning is one of my best tools, and obviously, that you know, one of you guys said before, that that's something that he that he uh, lacks in. I think he, it, I think it could play out with me finishing him on the feet, or me taking him down and finishing him on the ground. But at the end of the day, it's going to be me, my hand raised.